Ladies and gentlemen, we have a disease going on in this country, and it's out after you. It's out after your life, your hopes, your dreams, and your freedom. And the crazy thing about this disease is it doesn't matter how rich you are or how poor you are, what job title you have, this disease is out to get you, and it's called consumerism. And consumerism is spending your money blindly on material possessions, thinking they'll add value in your life. And the side effects include high stress, long hours at work, and lack of freedom. Consumerism is the thing that keeps you running on the hamster wheel until you're 65. But I got good news for you, because there is a way to fight this disease, and it's called frugality. Now, frugality often gets a bad rap. When I talk about frugality, they say, why don't you just enjoy your money? Live a little, Austin, as if they know what they're talking about. But it's because they're confusing being cheap with frugality, but the reality is, is they're two completely different things. Being cheap is not spending your money and depriving yourself in life. Frugality is carefully managing your money and not wasting anything. Now I consider myself a very frugal person. I've always been this way because I believe that if you can control money, you will have more control in your life. And I think that frugality is one of the best weapons to combat rising prices and just gain control over your life. So in this video, I wanna inspire you to jump on the frugality bandwagon and talk about 10 reasons why I am frugal. But before I begin, por favor, jump on the Austin bandwagon and give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it, help me grow my channel. So just give it a little tap. And if that's not enough, here's a picture of me holding a sloth. So let's begin with reason number one, and it's I don't wanna be controlled by the man. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is run by the man. And if you're unfamiliar of who the man is, the man is the establishment put in place to bring us down. And the biggest weapon that the man has to control us is money. I mean, think about it. When you're in debt or you have a low amount of savings, what can you do? Well, you do whatever the man tells you. Can you take a break? Well, depending on what the man says. Can you take a vacation? It depends on how convenient it is for the man. The goal of the man is to keep you in debt. Now, the man wants you to get the new car. The man wants you to get the five bedroom house. The man wants you to keep upgrading your cell phone every single year so you stay in debt, so the man can control you and keep you running on this hamster wheel until you're 65, plain and simple. I am frugal because I don't want to be controlled by the man. I don't want my freedom and my options to be in the power of someone else because money is a game invented by the man to control us. But the game is flawed because if you live a frugal life and you spend less and save more, you have more options because money equals options. And reason number two is I don't really like working. Now I wanna be completely honest with you guys. I don't really like working. And to be honest, I don't think the majority of people like working either. But I think it's really hard to say that because for our whole lives we're told, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. But I think that's nonsense. Call me crazy, but I don't like to spend the majority of my waking hours, Monday through Friday, staring at a computer screen. A job is mandatory. And what makes a job mandatory is a paycheck. The reality is we work because we need money. It's that simple. It's not the only reason, but I can guarantee you, if you didn't need money, you'd be working a little bit differently. I used to think that working a nine to five job was the reality until I started to understand the game of money better. And I started to realize that if you have low expenses in a large financial cushion, you don't have to work all the time because you don't need money that bad. And I just don't accept the two week vacation policy in the United States. And I don't accept that I should be staring at his computer screen all day. And I don't accept that this is reality. I am frugal because I don't really like working and I'm not afraid to say that. I understand that if I spend less and save more, I will not be as tied to a paycheck. And reason number three is I don't wanna spend my entire life figuring out how to pay off debt. 
Now, what does society teach us? Well, society teaches us to go to college, get in a bunch of debt, get a high paying job with a big house, fill it up with stuff, get in more debt, and then spend the rest of your life trying to figure out how to pay off that debt before you retire. I mean, what is the point of that? That is just purely unconscious behavior and manipulation by the man. Now, debt is the norm in our society, and most people spend their entire lives trying to figure out how to pay off debt. And I say, just don't get in debt in the first place. And I know what you're thinking. You're gonna think, Austin, well, it's not that simple. But I say the majority of people go in debt over wants, not needs. People go in debt over a new car when they could just buy a used one. People go in debt over a four bedroom house when all they need is two bedrooms. And believe it or not, some people even go in debt over a sandwich. Now money is simple. I just think that most people make it complicated. All you have to do is live below your means, save for your future, and don't buy anything you can't afford. I graduated college debt-free with a minimum wage job. I think that anything is possible financially. I am frugal because I don't want to waste my time spending my life trying to figure out how to pay off debt. And reason number four is I value freedom over possessions. In the 17th century, a writer named John Locke wrote about life, liberty, and property. And in 1776, this was used in the Declaration of Independence of the United States, but they changed the word property to pursuit of happiness. So according to the United States Constitution, accumulating stuff or property is what we deem pursuit of happiness. And it's pursuit because it's not guaranteed. That's the American dream, isn't it? But once all your bills are paid, if you're lucky, you will have some money left over. And there's two things you can do with that money. One, you can spend it. Two, you can save it. Now, when you're spending your money on unnecessary things, what you're really doing is you're just getting a little dose of dopamine that will eventually fade away and just leave you with less money and more clutter. But when you save, what you're really doing is you're buying back a tiny piece of your freedom because money equals options. I am frugal because I value my freedom over my possessions. I think that freedom is the best thing that money could buy. And reason number five is I don't want to lose appreciation. When I was in college, I was making about $8 an hour and I couldn't afford things like eating out that often. So when I went to school, I would just bring my lunch to school. But once every two to three months, I would eat out at a restaurant for lunch at school. And whenever I did this, it was a special event. It was an occasion because I rarely did it. And I had this deep appreciation for it. And now I make more money than I used to. But what I've noticed about myself is now it's no longer a special occasion. It's just me being lazy. And I've noticed that the more you do something, the less it becomes a treat and the more it becomes a norm. So I try to limit myself to this stuff now because I don't want to lose my appreciation for these things. And I am frugal because I believe the more that you treat yourself to something, the less it becomes a treat and the more it just becomes a norm. So I limit myself and I'm frugal because I don't want to lose that appreciation. And reason number six is I'm not that smart. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am not that smart. I don't have an idea that's going to make me a million dollars and I'm not going to spend my whole life trying to figure out that idea. I think that most people want to find that one idea that will lead them to financial freedom. But the reality is there's another way and it's called being frugal. I talked about in a past video how I made my first $10,000 with a minimum wage job and I said that it's not one $10,000 decision. It's $10,001 decisions. The reality is, is that it's very easy to save $1 and anybody can do it and it adds up a lot quicker than you think. I am frugal because I don't have an idea that's going to make me financially independent, but I know how to save $1. And when you do that with every single decision by being frugal, you will get to financial independence a lot quicker than you think. And it's a lot easier than it is just coming up with one single idea. And reason number seven is I don't want my life to revolve around money. When you're not frugal, you generally spend more money. So you have less money at your disposal and more of your decisions 
revolve around money. And you ask yourself questions like, can I go on a month long vacation? I don't have the money. Can I go visit a friend in Alaska? I don't have the money. I am not cheap and I don't mind spending my money on things that I want, but I don't do it all the time. And I'm very intentional when I do. That's what makes me frugal. But every single day I make small decisions to cut my spending and save money. But when the time comes to spend my money on something that I want, I don't think twice about it because I know I have the money. And I am frugal because I don't have to worry about spending my money on something that I want. I don't want money to stand in the way between me and something that I want. I don't want my life to revolve around money. And reason number eight is I don't want to be rich. Now, I'm not saying that I want to be poor. What I'm saying is I don't want to spend my life with fancy cars and big houses. I don't want to spend my life identifying with material possessions because I think that being rich is a state of mind. It's when you start to expand yourself externally for happiness. And as I start to make more money in life, I'm extremely cautious with how I spend it because I don't want to create this toxic ego that makes me feel like I'm better than anybody else. And I am frugal because I don't want money to change me. I don't want to think that because I have nicer stuff, I'm better than anybody else. And reason number nine is I like simplicity. I think that life is extremely easy. It's us humans that have made it complicated because all we really need in life is food, water, and a roof over our head. Everything else beyond that is optional. I am frugal because I don't want to overwhelm myself with an abundance of material possessions and a bunch of financial clutter. I just prefer to live a simple life without a bunch of worries. And reason number 10 is I care about my future self. I think that most people don't realize the effect that money has over their life because every single financial decision that you make good or bad, will affect you in some way in the future. And I've said this in many of my videos, but the basic principle of money is when you save, you are giving to your future self. When you are taking on debt, you are stealing from your future self. Money is powerful. And if you make any irresponsible decisions with the money, the only person that you're hurting is yourself. I am frugal because I don't ever wanna to have to worry about money. I don't want to make any decisions that are going to affect me negatively long term because I care about my future self and I want my 38 year old self to be better off than my 28 year old self right now. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Muchas gracias. Que tengo un buen día. Yo soy Agustín de los Montañas. Nos vemos, chico.